Hello and welcome to the Omron Quick Tip video series. In this uh, Quick Tip, we're going to show you how to configure the local I.O. on an NJ controller. You'll go to Configurations and Setup, then double click on CPU Expansion Racks. You'll come up with this particular picture. If you want to add an I.O., you pick the type of I.O. over here and underneath you'll see all the I.O. that the CPU can handle. In this particular case I'm going to pick an analog I.O. and I can either double click and it will show up on the left side or I can click it and drag it over and put it where I want to put it. You will notice that as I add each card right here it will show information about that card. I can even go in and configure the card itself. I can also as a quick point pick a single channel or all the channels depending on what's easier for me. What this will also do is tell you by clicking on this little arrow the total width of what you're building and the current consumption. What it doesn't do is tell you the total concern, current consumption of the power supply but what it does do if we keep adding cards, it will tell you if you exceed your total power. And what I'm going to have to do is get rid of this card and add a card. There we go. I get this little red mark. I click on it and it tells me that I have exceeded my consumption for the power supply. So that's good. Once I fill up the back plane, I may need more cards. Whoops, can't do that. How about picking a card that uses less power? Hmm. Uh, maybe that one. I may want to add a rack. I right click, add a rack. And I can start the whole process all over again. Now what I can do is I can go online to the actual CPU. And what I can do is click on this rack, right click, and say compare with the actual unit. This is what I configured. This is what actually exists. And then what I can do is say apply what it if I think it's correct, I can say apply what actually exists back to SysMac Studio. And I will have the correct setup. Hope that helps.